Hey guys, what's up Abomination9 here, back playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and if you didn't watch the video from yesterday, I'm back I guess technically. Uh, if you did not watch the last video, if you didn't uh, read my community post, which again I have community posts on lockdown, so I'll probably be using that from time to time. Uh, I had health problems for a few months, uh, but we're kind of, we've been over that for a while, but I've just been staying out of the game for a while. But we're back to play some more stuff again. Animal Crossing is coming November 5th when the new update comes out, so get, I look forward to that, live streaming that every day for who knows how long. Uh, we're going back in for one of the new mock, new boxes, which is uh, Pendulum Genesis, and then tomorrow we'll be doing Idea of Armageddon, which just came out like literally yesterday, but who knows how long after uh, this video goes up. But we're going in for Pendulum Genesis because I would really like these uh, performer pals uh, though I don't know about something it's not in this it's in the Armageddon box but I want the performer pals I want the uh, normal monsters as well of course odd eyes pendulum would be fine I guess uh, this looks cool so we grab him as well uh, but these normal cards here are really interesting too. Like, they have some synergies with each other. And I'm assuming that die, unexpected die, works with this as well. I'm hoping so. That would be cool to use with these dudes. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna go in there. Though, before that, I wanna clarify what I was talking about. Dang, I don't know how this works. This dude here requires a level 5 or higher dark monster. And I swear, I went over and over and over the Performer Pals, and I swear to God, there is not a level 5 or higher Dark Performer Pal. I swear. So, I don't know what you're supposed to combine this with, but... I, I mean, you could just use anything, it's just I would prefer it to actually be part of the archetype and not just some random level 5 that you have to add in there for the sake of it. I don't know, maybe Dark Magician plus Performer Pals? I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to blow 3,000 here, then 3,000 on Armageddon. Alright, so nothing in this one. Only a single Karibo. Chain Burst. Each time a player activates a trap card, they take 500 damage immediately after it resolves. That's kind of cool. And this is a uh, Dud, I believe. Block Spider. Did I want this? I feel like I wanted this dude. Because I remember seeing him. Your opponent cannot target insect type monsters from four attacks, except this one. If this card is special summon, you can special summon one block spider from your deck. You can only use the effect of block spider once per turn. Okay. Probably could do something with that. Cool, we got a former pal. I'm not gonna read all of them, but that's fine. Triple Creep, Wink Explosion, Blue Glint, Seafoam Glint, Green Glint. And got a face. It is a exceed, so it could be one of these three. Uh, Ebon, Dark Magician would be nice. Perform Pal, Trampanda. Once per turn, you can increase this card's pendulum scale by one. Max 12, so you could eventually start special summoning some crazy stuff. When, you pendulum, when your pendulum monster is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack. You can only use the effect of Perform Pal, Trampanda once per turn. Is this not good? Like... Free negation once per turn. If you're running all Performer Pal Pendulums. And it can keep increasing its scale every turn. I mean, that's going to take like, uh, what, nine turns to get him to level 12 if you need to summon something that's level 11. But still, I mean, uh, I feel like that's good. A Performer Pal, Teeter Totter, Hopper, a an Ebon Illusion Magician. That's what I'm talking about. We're not going to talk about why the fact that they call them Ebon and, uh, yeah, but two level seven monsters. You can also exceed some on this card by using a rank six spellcaster type exceed monster you control as the exceed material. A secret material attached to that monster also becomes exceed material on this card. What? Who are you bouncing off of then? Who's a level six exceed uh, rank six exceed spellcaster? I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with all of them because I've been out the game for so long. Once per turn, you can attach to one Exceed material from this card. Detach. Special summon one spellcaster type normal monster from your hand or deck, so free Dark Magician. 
When a spellcaster type normal monster declares an attack, Dark Magician, you can target one card your opponent controls, banish it. You can only use the effect of Ebon Illusion the Magician once per turn. Oof. I mean, I have nowhere near the cards you need to run a efficient Dark Magician deck, but still, I like this card. I'm assuming nobody's running it, but I I like this card. I appreciate getting it. Triple Creeps again. Ooh, Psychedelics with Hieroglyphs, full Hieroglyphs, and this girl's Bam. Again, don't know her name. Boy, Bole, I think is her last name, because her na last name's so weird, because it sound, seems like it could be pronounced Boyle as well, which is not a, a good last name to have. So we're just say her last name is Bole. Uh, Stone Ghost. Performer Pal Extra Slinger. During your main phases, you can inflict five, 150 damage to your opponent for each face up pinch of the monster in your extra deck. You can only use the effect of Performer Pal Extra Slinger once per turn. You cannot pendulum summon the turn you activate this effect. And it's a monster ability. Is once per turn, you can banish one card from your extra deck. Uh, then target one card in the pendulum zone, destroy it, and if you do, inflict 150 damage to your opponent. So blow up their pendulum and burn them. Okay, so this is a spell. And if we quickly, quickly glance over here, nah, there's no spells in the super rare. So this is one of the two. I think there's two spells in here. I don't know which one's which. It's this one, which I think I wanted this one. So thank freaking God, because it's Performer Pal related. I did want this, so big luck there. Uh, cards in your pendulum zone with card effect. You, well, your opponent cannot uh, target a magician, performer pal, or odd eye card in your pendulum zones with card effects. You can target one other face up card you control, destroy it, and if you do, add one odd eyes card from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Sky Iris once per turn, so it would be you put this dude, I don't remember his name. You put him in there with the whatever other pendulum stuff you're doing, blow him up with this to get another one of him to place him back down into the pendulum zone, and then you can go into synchro. Uh, I was gonna say synchro into pendulum summoning for the one you blew up in the first place, or whatever you want to summon, or you could just blow up anything to get your pendulums correctly synced. To creeps again, nothing else though. Poison of the Old Man, Former Pal, Spring Goose, Former Pal, Paratrio, nice. I wanted this card, so good. Once per turn, if you control the Performer Pal Magician or Odd Eyes card in, uh, in your other Pendulum Zone, except itself, you can make this card Pendulum Scale become 7 until the end of the turn. I think it was this ability that was good, though. When this card is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one Performer Pal monster from your deck, except a Pendulum. So grab any of the other Performer Pals that aren't a Pendulum, so I thought that was pretty good. Free summons are always nice. Illusion Balloons, Performer Pal Waifu, Performer Pal Snake. Once per turn, during either player's main phase, you can target one face of monster on the field, switch its current attack and defense until the end of this turn. Which is okay. I think they showed this off either in the school? Yeah, I think there's a mission where I think you have to do this. Or switch something's uh, stats so you can destroy it. Triple Creed. No fanfare though. Teeter Totter Hopper, Seed Cannon. Each time a plant type monster is summoned, place one counter on this card, max five. You can send this card to the graveyard to inflict 250 damage to your opponent for each plant counter on this card. It's pretty good. A thousand, well, 2500, right? Oh, not 2500, 1250, I mean. Natural Tune, this is an old card. Wait. Could, you could use Natural Tune on these normal pendulums too that would be pretty cool even though it's slow action magic double banking serenade oh yeah meleta and meletas are in here too perform a pal camelum once per turn during your main phase one you can target one face up monster you control the the monster your opponent currently controls loses 800 defense until the end of this turn i think you had to use this too and if you they do if the targeted monster attacks a defensive position monster this turn, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. This card destroys by battle. You can make the monster that destroyed it lose 800. Top Greaves, no fanfare. Oh, psychedelics and her face. Secret blast, stand in, and nice. 
one of this again because it is a pendulum. Just give me all the pendulums. Because that's all I care about when a new mechanic comes in. Just give me all the synchros. Give me all the exceeds. Give me all the pendulums. I don't care if they're trash. Give them to me. When Link Summoning comes in, give me all the links. Because the cool, the cool cards on the block. What do you send you, monster? Which we just got one of those in the last video. You control declares an attack. You can have the attacking monster gain 300 attack until the end of the battle phase. Trash. Cannot be special summoned except by pendulum summon. This is like a level 10 or something. I think I remember seeing this. I was like, how do you even summon this thing? This card's pendulum summon cannot be negated. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target up to two cards in the field. Return them to the hand, which is two. So whenever you get summons, no matter how you get summoned, you bounce two. Once returned during the end phase of this card of special summon, this turn return it to the hand, so you can keep bouncing two every turn. If you somehow have a level 11 pendulum going, then you can get this guy going, I think. Keep bouncing every turn. Uh, Giganto. Chain Burst. Perform Power Swordfish. And last pack. Last minute cancel. Super Heavy Samurai Soul Bead. Super Heavy Samurai Giga Gloves. So we got some good stuff. Freaking Sky Iris in the first, like, uh, first 10 set. And Evan. Like, what? And uh, Mayo Senju, Daibok. I didn't even say his name. So that's a thousand. I gotta remember how many we've gone in for, but I mean, we have 6,000, so it's not that hard to tell. Stone Ghost, Super Heavy Samurai Fist. Ah, oh, nice. Again, want these normal monster uh, pendulums. You can ask special summon monsters except uh, Queely. Monsters, this effect cannot be negated. Once returned during the end phase, if you tribute someone this turn, you can draw a number of cards equal to the number of Queely monsters you tributed for tribute summon this turn. Perform a pal swordfish, you have samurai stealth ninja. Perform a pal Han Samurai. -ger. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can add one level five or higher pen to the monster from your deck to your hand. You're gonna use the effect of Pull from a pal, Hand Samurai -ger, once per turn. Cyber Summon Blaster. Every time you special summon a machine, uh, do dot to your opponent. Agora Turtle and Giggle Loves. Alright, now this is the point where we need to start spitting it up. Spring Goose. Spike Eagle. Giga Gloves. Triple Creeps. I think that was a weak explosion. Plus Psychedelics. Plus... No, no bam. Just boy lace face. Fusion. So, it could be one of these three. I don't even think this is good unless it's the one you use for the... Uh, skill that Boyle has. Uh, I don't know if I care about any of these. Even if this is a Melodus. Illusion Balloons. Trumpanda. Evil hero, dark guy. Okay, hold on. It's a hero. I love heroes. A fiend and a rock. Must be special summoned with dark fusion. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. The original attack of this card is equal to the combined attack of the future materials monsters used to fusion summon it. When this card declares an attack, you can change all defensive position monsters your opponent controls to face up attack position. Slip effects are not activated at this time. Yeah, it's okay. Fiend and a rock. Playbreaker, Full House, and Frontline Observer. Uh, Performer Pal Waifu, Firewing Pegasus, and Big Wara uh, Waraji. Triple Creep. Probably should stop skipping that so we can see. Nice. Win Witch Waifu, Furry Waifu. Uh, if your opponent controls a face of monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, and you do not. Uh, you can special summon this card from your pendulum zone. You can only use the effect of uh, Wim Witch Furry Waifu once per turn. Uh, and it's a uh, monster ability. This card can be treated as two tributes for a pendulum. It's okay. Low number four, though. This guy is cool. Wait, is it this guy? No, it's the other guy. It's the one with the rhino, this one. What do you do? You have no pendulum effect, but at the start of the damage step, if this card battles a pendulum monster, this card's attack and defense become half its current attack and defense until... This card's attack and defense becomes half its current attack and defense until the end of the turn. Okay, this is trash. 
It has no pendulum effect. It's level 5, which is trash. It's pendulum. Number 5, so it's trash, in my opinion. Its defense is amazing. Yes, I'll give it. But... At the damage step, if this card battles a monster, so if he swings, he dies, no matter what it's attacking. I don't know if that's on their turn if they attack into it. If they attack into it, it becomes an 18, which is... Or, not 18. Is it 18? No, it's not 18. It becomes trash. It becomes like a 14 or... What can I... It becomes 13. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? becomes a 13 like you're gonna get blown up no matter what if it does drop when you are being attacked so again like why this is terrible and dharma eye magician which i already have because i bought the um the structure deck hypno sister i wanted this this card gains effects based on the total number of cards in both players pendulum zones one against attack two as our damage step attack the pendulum it gets blown up Three, monster your opponent controls must attack this card if able, which uh, apply uh, gets them blown up the pendulum, which is very situational because I don't know if people are even playing pendulums because it's so hard to use them. And four, if this card destroys a monster by battle, draw. Backfire is an old card. Attack and receive, also an old card. Chip creeps. Blue glint, got a bole face. Yeah, bole bam. We already have one of these because of the structure deck. Backfire and a super. Benki! Ben K, sorry. Ben K, like, what the. Ben K is good. And I hate. Um. The dude he belongs to. I'm just not into those kind of archetypal characters. So. Just getting this for free, not having to use him if I want to use this card, is great. Super heavy samurai, big. Ben K. Freaking great. This card is no more special when you can change its battle position, so you put him defense because he swings with the defense. Super heavy samurai monsters you control can attack wall and face up defensive position. If they do, apply the defense. So he comes out, you trip at him, he hits uh, for his defense, he goes straight into defense position, and he starts swinging for 3,500. So decent card. I guess it's only decent because he can get blown up by anything. There's nothing protecting him, but still. I'm happy to have him. So we still have another two thirds to go. We already got some good stuff. Firewing Pegasus, Form of Rock Plate Breaker, Fire, a Muffler Line. When the Pendulum Monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can special them summon this card from the zone. If a Pendulum Monster you control destroys opponent's monster by battle, after damage calculations, you can make this monster you control. Gain 200 attack until the end of the battle phase, and if you do, you can make a second attack in a row. So it could swing for 2,000 if the first monster you use blows up the only monster they have. Which is okay, but it's still... No, that's not great. Samurai Fist, last minute cancel, attack and receive. Cedar Totter Hopper, Bad Luck Blast, Dragon Horn Hunter, cool. This the backstory on this is cool. Like this text, you can read this by yourself, but the text is pretty cool. All normal monsters gain 200 attack. You take no battle damage from battles involving normal monster, which is why I feel like this is good. You throw this in the pendulum, it's a three, which is fine, because who cares about summoning one, two, or three? Depending on the deck you're using. Uh, and this is just gonna go into the normal deck anyways. And everything's getting boosted by 200. And if you want to be spicy. You can just put two Horn Hunters in both of your zones, forsake Pendulum Summoning, and then you're just getting a boost of 400. Which, I mean, is crazy, but still. No one would do that, but... That's Triple Creeps, we got Yellow Glint and Boilet Bam, and we got another Pen, another Exceed. So which means one of these, I'll take another Ebon, if you'll give him to me. Stone Ghost, Action Magic, Double Banking. Oh my god, it's the Ultra Rare, which I don't know what this thing even does. Number 98, Antitopian, two level fours. That's it, just two level fours. 2,000 and 2,500. When any player declares an attack, you can detach one exceed material from this card. Change that monster to defensive position. During either player's turn, while this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Utopia monster on the field. Special summon this card in defensive position. As you do, attach that monster to this card as an exceed material. You can only... 
use this effect of number 98 once per turn. I think that's okay, but I feel like I have to run that in a Utopia specific deck. Pyroglyphs Gold Bolet. Uh, this maybe? There's no way it's this. Opera. Poison of the Old Man. Okay, never mind. It is. What? There was no mega explosion, and they're just giving me, with no fanfare, this other ultra rare. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. A tuner and a non tutor for, what, a level 8? Yeah, level 8. Once per turn, which is really easy. Uh, during your main phase, 1. Which there is no 2 because this is Duel Links. You can destroy all other face up attack position monsters on the field. Monsters other than this card cannot attack the turn you activate its effects. Which is uh, great. I don't know if, if you play him and then you can pop that or if you have to wait till your next turn, but throw him on there, blow up everything. This is not target. So if their mutant targets, doesn't matter. Which means Hazies get blown up by this because they are anti target but not anti destruction. Blue eyes? I don't know too much about blue eyes. Other than that, you get flooded with blue eyes and all the synchro and other monsters and whatnot. I don't know if they have protection against, any, against anything, but play red hot and then blow up everything is pretty. That's pretty good. I mean, I might have to throw them into a deck. Replace the other dragon fiend. Uh, Spiky Goal, Hypno Lolly Waifu, uh, Salyu Tiger, Triple Creep, but no other fanfare. Spring Goose, last minute cancel. Nice Dragoons of Draconia. Once per turn, if a normal monster you control destroys an opponent's monster by battle, after damage calculations, you can add one level four higher normal monster from your deck to your hand. That's pretty good. Get free draw. Let's read this one's backstory, because I haven't read him. Armed with muskets and iron spears, these mounted land troops of the Draconian Empire are feared by the Reptier Kingdom and other bordering nations. It's not as interesting as the other one, as the monster hunter. Basically, she went to go kill some dragons because she needed her horns for medicine or something, but then the dragons destroyed her entire village while she was gone, so it was kind of like a lost cause. She wasted her time and got punished for it. Uh, extra Slinger, Balloons, Giggle Loves, Double Blinking, Chain Burst, My Body as a Shield. Okay, so I think we're... Almost, I think we stop at 3500. I always lose count on these. Giganto, Samurai Fist, nice, Samurai, Samurai Calvary of Reptier. Now this dude I feel like is disgusting because it doesn't make sense. He's a level 4, 18, but at the start of the damage step, if this card attacks an opponent's face-up monster that is not a pendulum, kill it. Who's using pendulums? Nobody. Probably. I have not watched any videos recently. I've been catching up on catalog of Yugi video, Duel Link video, so I don't know if people are using pendulums. I'm under the assumption from the five ranked matches I played because the stupid bingo thing makes you play PvP and I don't want to play PvP. None of those people had pendulums, but it's also rookie because I haven't been playing, so maybe they just have cruddy decks, which usually are, but they someone did use a metaphysical, like, perfect metaphysical deck on me at one point, so... They're not completely incompetent, but I have not seen any use of pendulums, and I don't know if people are using pendulums, but if nobody's using pendulums, this destroys anything it fights. Anything it attacks. If, if it gets attacked, it gets blown up, yeah. But anything it attacks, it gets blown up, because I'm pretty sure you're not going to be swinging into pendulums anyway, so... I feel this, this card's crazy. I feel like you would put him in the normal deck just to go along with the other ones. Triple Caribs, no other fanfare, though. Stand in, Swordfish, Calvary of uh, uh, Xlub, Xlub maybe, Zoo Club, Zulub, Club, Kulub maybe. This card is unaffected by monsters' activated effects except pendulums. Again, I don't know if pendulums even matter, so it's okay. Poison, Furry Waifu, another uh, Klee, Klee Fort, Klee Fort Monolith. 
I don't know if I even read his name last time. Triple Creep. Gold Twins. Bole. Face. Fusion. So it's one of these two dweebs or her. Illusion Balloons. Bad Luck Blast. Evil Hero Lightning Golem. So we got both of them. So that's good. We got Spark Man and Clay Man. Another one of those. Those OG combos. Must be special summoned with Dark Fusion. Uh, I don't know where you even get Dark Fusion. It must be the other ultra rare spell. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. Once returned, you can target one monster in the field, blow it up for free. That's not bad. I mean, it targets, but still, free one target blow up every turn. So, Triple Creeps, Golden Glance, Snowball Lay, though. Cy uh, Cyber Summon Blaster, Samurai Soul Beads, Free Range Monsters. During your main phase, during the main phase, immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon slash at one monster. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's good. Maybe I don't know. Cause I feel like you have to play this during your main phase, so you're waiting till you place it on your turn, wait for their turn to get back to your turn. So it's like three turns of wait just to summon one extra monster. Is that? I feel like that's as slow as it can possibly be. For one extra summon. Triple we triple Kareebs, Wink Explosion. With blue seafoam green glints. And Bole. Okay, Coin Dragon, Trump Panda. And a second Diabok. I'll take it. Maybe I need to make a spirit deck, even though I'm pretty sure I don't have uh well Yosenju deck. Don't really have much to use here other than that the Yosenju we got yesterday, which I have two of. Poison of the Man, Firewing Pegasus, Dragon Horn Hunter. Now we can read this. I'll read it for you this time. The horns were needed to prepare medicine for her village, suffering from plague. Unto unknown to her, the dragons burned and trampled her village, once displaced from their den. So, she got all that for nothing. So it sucks. Very sad. Chumpanda, Cyber Dinosaur, Magical Cavalry of Sukla. Metrics are Illusion, Poison the Old Man, Sea Dragoons of Draconia. When a monster is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one normal uh, monster from your hand. You can only use this effect of Sea Dragoons of Draconia once per week. What? Uh, when a monster is destroyed by battle, get a free summon. So, was it when you destroy, draw, right? Draw a monster or something? Then, when you destroy, summon as well, having both of these in there? We need to go check those out. Triple Creeps. I think it's the one on land and one on sea together. Firewing Pegasus. Life Swordsman. Skeeter Skeeter. Now, did we get the other one in here? We might just be able to look at it here. Uh, is it this one? No. It wasn't the other one. So, yeah, when you kill something, spell summon a normal monster from your hand. When you destroy something, Add a level four or higher to your hand. No, add a level four. Yeah, a level four or higher. So yeah, you have him who's a two. He's a two. He's a seven. So you're getting threes to sixes. That's not bad. So three to six free summons every turn. If you kill something, get a free draw and get a free summon. If you have space for it, which you probably don't need because you're using this, but still. And this is any normal summon too. So you could potentially summon higher than the six that you're getting for this uh, pendulum so it's pretty good I think we have a thousand more yeah we have a thousand more to go so 20 packs triple creeps green flint with bole it's a synchro so maybe it's this dude serenade cyber summon black feather dark uh, dark edge dragon I'm pretty sure I don't really care about black wings so this doesn't mean anything to me but I need the tuner and a non-tuner for level eight What's returned when you take damage, you can send up to five cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. Then, if any monsters were sent to the graveyard by this effect, this card gains 400 attack. When you take damage. Okay, weird. Blue glint on that for no reason. Man throw tro. Uh, soul beads. Nice! A second draconia. I wish I could get more of these. Yellow Glint, Soul Beads, Illusion, Attack and Receive. 
So we have two of the sea, land, sea ones, but we don't have two of the, the land-based ones. Clay Breaker, Fire Pegasus, Kaleidoscorp. All light monsters you control gain 300. Okay. Once a turn, you can target one phase of monster you control. This turn, it can attack all special summon monsters your opponent controls once each. Okay. But that's only if he's a monster. And not a uh, pendulum. Illusion, Blaster, another Kaleidoscope. Cool. Minus Horus. Nice, a second Dragon Horn. Or oh, is this the third, second, or third Dragon Horn? That's my third. Nice, we have a playset then. That might be a playset of uh, Sclub as well, but I don't know. Or Kuzilub? Kuzilub, maybe? Uh, Trumpin, uh, Wave Motion Cannon. Nice, a second Draconio. It's all coming together. Uh, furry waifu, spring goose, natural tune, swordsman, turtle, dowser. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or when this card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one earth pendulum monster from your deck in defensive position, but destroy it during the end phase. You can only use the effect of dragon dowser once per turn. That has its uses, I guess, probably. We have one more to go. Backfire, Eagle, and Tiger. Okay, so. Two and two. Which is unfortunate. We have a playset of her, though, and a playset of those. Uh, we only have one of these, do. We need, like, one of all of these guys. I don't know if there's another one anywhere else in here. There's still some sevens down here that we haven't collected. I guess we haven't really touched most of this. We somehow have gotten four ultras, though. I still need this. This is what we really want, I think, at this point. I shouldn't be touching this because it's going to greed sensor me and not give it to me. Uh, but yeah, we need that guy. We need this, actually. This is also what we needed. Th this is a problem that we don't have this. Because this is our last 3,000. Next 3,000 have to go into the other box. Armageddon. Full house, chain burst, uh, uh, reptier, nice, because we needed that as well. Trip Reeves, Pirate Glyphs, and Blue Glint, and Bole Bam. Okay, it's a regular one. 3,000 year white turtle. Uh, it's a level, you need one uh, tribute for that, so it's trash. A uh, Lolly Waifu, I think we might have a playset of this now. It's a glossy. Gold Gadget Ultra Rare, another Ultra Rare. When this card is normal summon or special summon, you can special summon one level 4 machine type monster from your hand. That's amazing. This card is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can special summon one level 4 gadget monster from your deck, except gold. Ga Hold on. This card is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can special summon one level 4 gadget monster from your deck, except himself. You can only use one golden gadget effect per turn and only once per turn. This is crazy. Special summon him or summon him, get another one on the board. Including another one of himself, I think. To go into a exceed level 4. When it dies, if it dies without being exceeded, special summon another level 4. From the deck, as long as it's not him and it's a gadget. This is nuts, in my opinion. Wink Explosion. I'll take that, uh... Oh, come on, really? Turn Trooper, Playbreaker, Dowser. All that for Dowser. Bad luck blast, seed cannon, Dowser. Clay breaker, bot ice lizard, swordfish. Minute cancel, big uh, whatever his name is. Hand samuraiger again, so filling in some of the things we need. Triple creeps there. Can I get a play set, please? Of those normal ones. So we got some glint here. I think that was also triple. Cancel. Whip snake. And... Really? White turtle again. The other turtle. Magician. Oof. This is our first swim cobra? What? Full house and soul shield. Come on, last one. Dang. We got gyps. Oof. Nothing at the end there, but we, I mean, we got this at the end, which is, I feel like it's crazy. 
I had any other gadget cards. I don't know if there's a whole gadget archetype or not. But we kind of got gypped because we didn't get another. We didn't get a playset of this or this, and I feel like you need these two. Got a playset of that and that though. We need these two for the deck. Uh, we might. We can dip another 500 because we have the 3,000. And there's an extra 700 waiting for me in those missions, so I can just do those and add that onto the extra. So we'll dip one more time to try to get a playset of those normals. I just want the normals, Konami. I don't even want anything special. Just let me get the playset of the normals. Swordsman, stand in, Dharma Eye, Backfire, Spring Goose, Fortissimo, uh, Turn Trooper, Wave Motion, Dharma. Come on, Triple Creeps, Blue Glints. Life Sword. This is a normal card. Is this, oh my god, is this a cannon? Man Throw Through. Oh, really? You really gonna screw me? I mean, I thank you for the playset. But really, all that fanfare for it to not be this guy? I also just realized now, after that, is we still need this guy. Backfire, Stone Ghost, Cyber Dis Dinosaur. There's some hieroglyphs on that. Opera. Star Illusion, Swordfish, uh, Full House, Chain Burst, Cavalry of Rip Tier, if we didn't have the playset, which we did, I think. We do now. Extra Slinger, Man Throw, Muffle Lion, or Muffler Lion, or whatever his name is. A little bit of Hieroglyphs, Swordman, Lolly, Dig Gloves, dang, no special card either. Pegasus, Turntable, and Skeeter. Oof. Uh, so we got kind of screwed there, but at least we got a place out of that. We have a place out of these, but we still need another one of these, and I think I'm going to go for uh, three pack of luck here. Because we're going to get ourselves down to 150, so what was that? 3,000 gems plus the extra 500, so. Seventy-three. There's seventy-three packs. I think we've opened. Okay, one pack luck. All we're looking for is the normal. Minotaur, Steva, that camel. All we're looking for is the playset, Konami. Can you not even give that? I don't even want anything special. I just want the playset. Oh my god. Our first taxation? Are you kidding me? Lolly. Please, place that. Of a normal freaking card. A normal rare nothing card. Oh my god. We didn't get it. Wave and motion cannon, illusion balloons, and that dumb card. The, uh, Warigi. Man, well, we gotta save the extra 3,000 for Armageddon. We'll see what happens, uh... Uh, in the next video, but man, we couldn't get a place that you know, I'm about to just go all in like they're really upsetting me here uh, uh, You need 5,000 to finish a box mini box Which is what the Armageddon is I Can burn another 700 because we have 700 in reserves So Konami really skewing me here, but we need wait, hold on. We need a place out of this guy. I need uh, this is uh, that's what I needed Uh, we still don't have three of those either. So what are you missing down here? We're missing that, 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 that. These don't care. We need another one of this guy, even though he's like trash. Block one. We've got him like in the first pack thing. We haven't seen him since. We need another one of these performer power waifus. Uh, this thing. This performer pal. These performer pals. We haven't even seen this guy. Uh, the Scorpion and this dude. And then, of course, any of these other cards. So we're going in for another 500. God. So where are we at? 80... No. So we did another 500. No, this is not 500. Uh, 80... 80... I might go to 93. 
We're not 93, but, uh... Uh, yeah, no, 93. Ooh! Evil Swarm Ouroboros. God, this 40 minute long video, I'm dying here. Three level fours. Once per turn, you can attach an Exceed material from this card. Then it activate one of these effects. Each effect can be used or once while this card is in face up on the is face up on the field. Take one card your opponent controls, return that card to the hand, so bounce one. Select one random card from your opponent's hand. Uh, destroy it. Target one card in your opponent's graveyard, banish it. Pretty good. A little bit of blue glance on that. Taxation, spring goose. Oh shoot, that was the dude. Yellow glint on that. Star Illusion. Coin Dragon. Dragon Dowser. That was uncalled for. It had a gold glint. Triple Karibo. And nothing else. All we're looking for is your dude. Clay Breaker. Furry Waifu. Monolith. Triple Karib. Taxation. Samurai. And we need the water one, not the gland one. Triple Karib's Wink Explosion. Blue Glint, and her face. Okay, it's a black one, so it's probably the other Ebon, then. Uh, Teeter Totter, last minute. Yeah, two Ebons, thank you. I appreciate that. Now, can I get the water base, dude? Dragonair, Spiderbot, another one of those. Triple Kareeb. This is the last pack here. Hypno, Sister, Reptir, and that guy. Are you kidding me? Hello? Why can I not get another one of this dude? Hello? Why is that so difficult for you? Uh, but yeah, we're going to 93, so... This video is going to be 10 years long. See, so yeah, 93 packs. You happy, Konami? A little bit of hieroglyphs. Lock Spider, Man Throw, Attack and Receive, Triple Kareeb. Ooh! Who is this gonna be? Spell card. Spell card, please. Ah. Uh, sh I don't know who this could even be. Bad Luck Blast, Long Bull, Evil Hero, a Dusted Gold. You can discard this card, add one Dark Fusion, or one card that specifically lists Dark Fusion and is tacked from your deck to your hand, except Evil Hero. A dusted gold. You can only use this effect of evil hero a dusted gold once per turn. Cannot attack unless you control a fusion monster. Okay, pretty good. I mean, he's just one of those cards you throw away, like the skyscraper dude, to gain a card. And I'm assuming dark fusion is the other card, the other spell that's a ultra rare. Why would it be here if it's not in the box? We keep talking about it and it's not in the box. Star illusion, old man, shield wall. Triple creeps with some gl glow. Spell, it's probably this. I mean, a trap. It's probably this thing. Oasis of Dragon Souls. No, it is. Wait, what is this? This is super rare, but it's not this. Why can't I? Oh, it's this. Because it, it's, it's already told me I've gotten it, I guess. Or. No? Oh, I have it selected on the cards I own. My bad. Active with this card by targeting in one monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position. It becomes worm type. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When this monster leaves the field, destroy this card. Okay, that's, that's fine, I guess. Another card that does that. That's like, you have six of those cards now. Like, Rebirth can do that. That card can do it. Maybe another one. Please! Dragoneer. Stone Ghost, are you kidding me? Chip of Creeps, Wink, Explosion. I can't believe this one rare nothing card is refusing to drop and everything else in the box including the supers fusion probably another one of these dudes are you kidding me summon blaster teeter totter and another gaia dark gaia and yet we're still missing this dragoneer dude whatever his name is please furry waifu man throw observer swordsman seed cannon whip snake Dynan, Lizard, Waraji, Triple Kareebs, this is the last one, I'm not opening anymore. And it's not in here. Throw, Secret, Skimmer. How? How in God's name have I not gotten 
a freaking Draconia, another Draconia, out of 93 packs. I'm pretty sure I opened up 90-something packs, which is half the box? Yeah, that's half the box. I think. How many are in here? 180? Nine, yeah, I'm pretty sure 93, so yeah, whatever. 180 packs. I mean, 90 packs, sorry, 93 packs. We couldn't get the freaking last Draconia. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow if I have extra over 3,000 after grinding those other gems. My god, that is terrible. Okay, what is this card? Blizzard? It's Blizzard. It's not even Dark Fusion. What the heck is Dark Fusion then? You have to get Dark Fusion and another freaking box? That sucks then. You have to get out of another box. And we didn't get the frog and we didn't get this or that. The other gadget. We're gonna have to come back, I guess. Now, who, are you the good one? Oh, this is the good one. Never mind. This is We wanted this one. This is a good one. Oof. Well, we whiffed. We didn't get the Melodis. Got almost every other freaking ultra in the box, though. Uh, we didn't get the freaking playset of this. Like, why? It's just a reg rare card. Oh my god. Why? Oh well. We'll be back tomorrow with the rest. I'm gonna have to sit here and grind, though, later. I'm not gonna do it right now. I usually would just do all these videos back to back and then stifle them over the days, but, like, I can't. I can't sit here for, like, another few hours grinding gems to get back to 3000 so I can open the next box. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching, we're going back to the deck, as I normally show off at the end. Again, this is a Melodus deck, we have the special Melodus uh, skill, and whatnot. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, the video's been long enough, I'm not going to go over the deck, you you know what, I've talked about it all the time. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, tune into the next episode, remember to buy my stickers, please like, subscribe, comment, you know what to do. See ya.